I Am That I Am by Dr. Emmett Fox. Genesis says, in the beginning, God. And in Exodus, we have, I am the Lord thy God. Jesus begins his prayer, our Father. In our modern idiom, adapted to the mentality of this age, we say, God is the only presence and the only power. But it is the old, old message, the old, old truth. Now, when God spoke to Moses out of the burning bush, he said, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me. This states, as clearly as can be done in limited language, the nature of God. You cannot define God. To define means to limit, to make finite. When you say that a thing is red, you mean it is not blue or green. When you say a thing is square, you are implying that it is not round, and so forth. Any definition, any description is a limitation if it is to be useful. However, God is infinite, and you cannot define God. Spinoza said, to define God is to deny him. And so the Bible does not attempt to define God. How different are the theologies, all the theologies, from the most ancient times down to the most recent, have been men's intellectual attempts to define God. Their intentions were to do that, but in practice they usually analysed themselves unconsciously and wrote their own characters into their definitions. The Bible does not try to do that. The Bible teaches metaphysics and says that God is I am that I am. What does that mean? In the very same verse, God says to Moses, Thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me. I am. But what is I am? It is your true being. It is your real nature, your real self, and nobody else, because no one else can say, I am, for you. Only you can say, I am. That is your real identity, the presence of God in you, the indwelling Christ. That is you. And whatever you attach to I am with conviction, that you are and that you have. I am is the fact of existence, and to know that gives you all power. When you have to go and tackle the Egyptians, and your heart turns to water within you, and you say to yourself, I cannot do this, I am not adequate, there is no way, then remember your true identity and say to the Egyptians, I am hath sent me and the road will open and you will surmount your difficulties. Now God spoke of himself to Moses and said, I am that I am. And that is the Bible's way of saying that God is pure, unconditioned being. God does not sit on a throne in heaven. That is a figure of speech, a very beautiful one if you like. God does not sit on a throne in heaven. There is no throne in heaven. If God could sit down, he would have legs and could wear shoes. And to suggest that is to bring the thing down to absurdity. The throne is the symbol of power. God is pure spirit, infinite creative life, infinite mind and infinite intelligence. God is pure, unconditioned being. When the Bible says that God talked to Moses out of the burning bush, it does not mean that God stood a little way off and talked to Moses as man to man. No, it was the presence of God within Moses 
as God is within you. Who taught him these things? In the Bibles of the 17th and 18th centuries, there would be a picture of a very fierce looking man in sandals and a long robe and huge beard talking with Moses. Moses was represented as a much smaller man, but dressed in the same way. Two men talking, which of course is childish. God talked with Moses through the intuitive sense as he talks to men and women today who pray for his guidance. God is I am that I am, and you are I am. And you make your destiny and your own fate by the things which you attach to that I am. For that is what you really believe about yourself. If you give credence to fear by saying, I am afraid, then you are destroying yourself. Every time you entertain a pang of fear or jealousy or a thought of criticism, every time you speak an unkind word to anyone, and much more so if you say it about them when they are not present, you are definitely shortening and destroying your life. You are definitely breaking down your cells. You are making your body more sensitive to pain. Nor do we lose a grain of good. Nobody can keep it away from you. Every time you say, I am one with God, you are improving your life. Every time you refuse to be bullied by fear, every time you follow the highest you know and put your trust in God, you are lengthening your life, improving your health and making it more difficult for disease to attack you.